All right. Um, you know, I don't even know why I'm starting the podcast as of right now. Oh, yeah, congratulations. Okay, so I'm not starting this podcast alone. How are you doing, Josh? I'm doing pretty well, Ada. How about yourself? I mean, I've been, um, I mean, been pretty good. I've been God, to day was good. My sanity. Maintain your sanity. I think every, everyone is. Um, how you been? Uh, for the most part, I've been all right. You know, um, I just uh, like I said, trying to maintain my sanity, make sure I don't go too crazy. Um, went to the store today, got some stuff. Yeah, honestly, my life's been pretty uneventful. Uh, as everyone's, except everyone working in the in the what they call health uh, healthcare field and. Of course, any who's considered as, essential, essentially. As exactly, so you know, um, yeah, this is pretty much it. Yeah, the problem you is, is I am considered essential. More importantly, I don't even need to go anywhere to work. I could work from home. Yeah, and I'm still bored. <laughs> I mean, that's understandable because all your activities are just at home. You can only be at home for so long until you're just like, yeah. I'm going crazy. Yeah, <laughs> that that's like that's been um, I guess kind of my mood as of late, just because I'm like really used to being really active and uh, I guess up and going with uh, you know w- with my life and what happens with it, mm-hmm. and to have like I guess this change of pace where like um, you know a back living with my you know my parents until this all blows over. Um, I actually got laid off today, so like that that's that's a shocker. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Who got laid off today? I did. Oh wow. So like it, it's kind of like it's crazy times like and I'm still like technically going to school but it just doesn't feel like it. Yeah, uh I think you can file for unemployment now. No, I will. Yeah, I definitely uh, I definitely will. And then uh, in addition to that, I'm should be getting my tax return pretty soon, so Yeah. Yeah, I get you. So I should have some for, some form of stable income for a while because she's like the the person I like at, that's doing my taxes. I did a favor for uh, for the daughter back in um, in January when the spring semester was about to start and she, no one was there to pick her up. And I'm like, okay, like yeah, I'll pick you up at the airport. And her parents were trying to repay me by like making me food, buying something, and I I turned that all down. And they offered me something way better than food, way better than materialistic things. They're like, hey. We'll do your taxes. We'll do, yeah, we'll do your taxes for free. I'm like, oh, is that right? <laughs> and yeah, so. That, yeah, that reminds me. Um, that reminds me a while back. Um, I had to pick up a friend. Uh, not, not from an airport, from a bus station. Um, this guy, you know, just keep in mind. Like, I've known this guy for years. We've been really good friends. But uh, he decides to call me the night before. Uh, in desperation because no one else is able to leave and be able to pick him up and um, he says hey Ed uh, can you come pick me up by any chance uh, can you uh, if I were to go to the airport to the bus station in LA can you pick me up I'm like uh, you know if you give me some time to prepare I'd be able to uh, what, when is your bus coming in oh uh, the next day at like 7am huh you're giving me about 12 hours to prepare for this. Yes. You me 12 hours to prepare for this, Josh. <laughs> oh, dude, no. I, so I would never take the bus. What are you talking? Your, your friend sounds like he's, he's really irresponsible. <laughs> yeah, he called me the night before, which is understandable. I mean, like, no one else is able to drive him. And, uh, you know, he said that... It, he said that uh, his dad is going to be working, his mom's going to be working, can't really do anything. So I'm like, all right, yeah, I'll, I'll drive you. And uh, the thing is, this L.A., like this particular bus station, isn't necessarily in the safest part of L.A. So I was telling my parents, and they're like, okay, you need to you need to bring someone else with you. All right, shouldn't be too difficult. I try calling up my buddy Garrett. And uh, unfortunately, he's sick. And like just to the point where like he literally can't get out of bed. And I'm like, oh, okay. Um, he was, he said yes initially, and then, like, uh, like, the night before, like, I want to say, like, maybe 10, 11 p.m., 
I get a call and he, he calls me and says, hey, man, I'm not going to be able to make it. I'm like, oh, great. Well, I tried pulling the whole you owe me one from um, another favor I did for him. And unfortunately, that can work. So I still have that one. And I'm still trying to figure out what to do with it. Um, but, uh, and uh, so I called John. John can't make it. And uh, there's no way I'm going to try to get a hold of Austin because he's there's no way he's going to be able to get up that early. So I went there with my dad. We get there. Um, there's a homeless guy that approached us. And uh, this guy was, you know, I gotta give I gotta give him credit because like they're becoming they're coming up with like even more elaborate and more creative sto backstories to whatever lives they're living. And um, unfortunately, there's no way to validate it. So it's either you know either you're telling me the truth, in which case I feel sorry for you, or you've spent time thinking about what you're gonna say. And honestly, it's a lot more creative than some people that I know. In which case, kudos to you. <laughs> Yes, but hey, man, um, you know, I, I I really think you're blowing L.A., you know, that part of L.A. being really unsafe, being that, you know, first of all, if um, you know, the homeless guy was able to elaborate a backstory like that, then that must tell you that he has like a master's degree in English or something. But so, so he, he just, wasn't homeless. He was he just only had a master's degree in English and realized that there's not much he could do with it. Exactly. He, like he's he's just wandering the streets, dude. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, so so he, so he had a liberal arts degree. Okay, that makes so much more sense. Yes, exactly. Come come on, dude. You're, you're misjudging him. You're assuming he's uneducated, but this I dude said he was probably... uneducated. I'm just saying that like he came up with a really elaborate backstory. Kudos to him. Damn, I want to meet him now. Yeah, you should you should have stalled. Well, the thing. Well, no, no, because um, the thing is, was that this was uh, during the whole, you know. The beginning of the quarantine era of our lives right now and uh he came and approached my car to a point where like he was like his face was like maybe like eight inches away from mine to a point where like honestly if i had if like if my dad wasn't there i would have decked this guy yeah Dude, maybe, maybe he just wanted to give you like a small smooch but yeah, i mean that's no, besides no, I, the point I, no i would have decked him to be honest with oh you. all right oh, yeah. all righty all right. Well, maybe maybe I'm not much of a smooch person, but I, that that's okay. Yeah. Anyway, well, I guess we like we're here now, and I'm probably gonna be here longer than anticipated. So yes, I true. actually. Yeah. So uh, when do you want to go on that on that hiking trip? <laughs> uh, whenever there's not a coronavirus. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I, I think this is the first time we actually mentioned the virus. On our. <laughs> I, I, think this, I, mean, I think this might be our third one just because the last one we did, um, the file got corrupted, and so there's no input audio from you guys. So, yes. Uh, yeah, this is a. We took the whole three podcasts of five weeks to actually mention the virus. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's an achievement. Not, not five weeks, five that. days. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right. Well, there's that. Um,. I mean, it's, it's something pretty significant in our lives that I you know, it's it's impacted everybody. Yeah, on a global scale. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm not gonna, I me, mean, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it by any means, you know. Oh no, yeah, it just gave us the summer break that Phineas and Ferb always had. Yeah, oh, that, yeah. that's <laughs> like that's that's what this this quarantine is. Yeah. All right. Um... But, Honestly, I don't know what else to talk about. Jonathan usually tries to push for ideas, and we just would go off of that. But he's not here. Um, Austin's online, but I don't think he's going to jump into the podcast because you know he's only done a couple yeah, of, yeah. Um, I mean, Garrett. What do you really? Do? Even, I don't think God knows where Garrett's at right now. Oh, uh, Garrett. Oh, you know, I gotta um, ask you. Uh, what's your opinion on people who actually break quarantine? Um, like, what are we talking about? Like people visiting each other, or? Kind of like just gathering in large social circles. Uh, in general, in general, because uh, technically speaking, we're supposed to be self quarantine right ourselves right now, and uh, only really need to leave for unless you're like yeah. you really need to leave unless you like absolutely can't, you know? Yeah, like unless you absolutely have to. That's what I'm trying. I to mean, say. to a certain degree, um, like I kind of like if you're gonna go out and get like you know essential stuff. So if you need like groceries, if you need like 
just in like toilet paper, food, anything like that. Mm -hmm. That's understandable because that's stuff that you need. You know, if you have multiple people in a household, right, stuff right. that, that you need to sustain a family. But if you're going out and maybe like per se, maybe hang out with your friends, maybe like that's not so much of a good idea. Yeah. Per se that way. Like, yeah, because, you like, know. I mean, like, I understand, like, dude, like, I would love to go out and visit, you know, you guys, but, uh, unfortunately, it's not necessarily the best thing in the world right now, and, like, trust me, I, I got bummed whenever I found out, I was like, yeah, it's, I can't really do that <laughs> safely. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's just something that we all gotta make sacrifices on. Exactly, and, I mean, like, like I said, I mean, uh, to the people that, that go out and do essential services, like, like you know run do essential errands like like kudos to them like you know there's nothing you could do to stop it unless you you know do everything online but uh i would assume that people are starting to like rack up the prices for like for some of the toilet paper i think like on amazon they racked up the to or like they jacked up the price of toilet paper to like 72 dollars i'm like why why would you do this I, w I went to walmart today because i had to grab a few things and uh uh like a full like i think it was like a four or a six pack of Charmin, and guess how much? Yes. Guess how much Walmart is trying to sell it for? How much? Seven bucks. <laughs> One roll? No, uh, it was like six rolls. It's for seven dollars, dude. Yeah, seven bucks. Uh -huh. Dude, that's damn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Todd, like, they're trying, they're it's trying it's, trying it's getting. Like, they're trying to sell like a thirty-two pack of water for like yeah. for like six something. What you know, like a 32 pack of water, you know, you think, oh, yeah, that's my, that's pretty good, you know? Uh, yeah. No, um, 32 pack of, like, I think just, like, eight fluid ounces of water instead of, like, the standard half liter that you normally get. Yeah. So it was, like, no, like, six bucks for 32, like, eight ounce things isn't really worth it. That's a, that's a rip. No, yeah, that's a rip off, dude. Yeah. yeah I mean. That is a huge rip. Not gonna lie. Um, yeah. But I think with, like, like anything else, like if you're just going around to do, just kind of like dick around, um, not not take the virus seriously. I think that's like, that's like kind really of a crossing like point. All the spring breakers in Florida, right about now. Yes, all the spring breakers in Florida. Those guys, those guys get me angry because they're like, yeah, if I get the coronavirus, I get it. Coronavirus, you know, it's not gonna stop me from having a good time. Exactly, like that's such a selfish like perspective to have. Yeah, because it's like it's uh, not just you. Because like yeah, you know, you may get it and you'll be fine. There's a good chance you'll be able to like, brush it off and you'll be able to live your life normally. Problem is, is that you're yeah. a carrier, and you gotta remember like anyone you get near has a higher chance of catching it. Exactly, like that. Like that's my point. Like you know, you you being as young as you are, uh, you may not feel the symptoms. And it may not come immediately. Or you may feel like, very minimal symptoms. You can definitely pass it on to someone who has underlying conditions or maybe is a little bit older and their immune system's not that good and potentially pass it on to them and you kill them that way. Yeah. And it's pretty unfortunate. But what do you do like during the quarantine, Ed? Like, what are some of your activities? If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, every day I sleep in. Okay. Just because, like, you know, like, what am I going to do really early in the morning? Um, like, these last couple of days, like, today and tomorrow, I'm going to be working on a project for one of my classes that's due tomorrow. Um, yes. Concrete design. And um, after that, I'm going to be working on work, like, actual work work. And, yes. Like, the thing is that as a researcher, though, it's like, you don't really have set hours. You just have to, you have set tasks. So, like... I mean, the thing is that you get paid based on how much you're actually able to accomplish with quality, not necessarily how long it took you to do it. Yeah. Like, oh, I see. I, I've, I've talked about, I've, I've talked about this to a point where, like, you know, like, even la like last summer when I started becoming a researcher, on average, I was, like, you know, working with code, like, all day, all night to a point where, you know, like, I actually recorded how long it takes me to write and analyze this data just so we have something valuable to, you know, present. And I, I think at the very peak of it, I was like, I was at like 117 hours a week. But at the time, I'm, o I'm only getting paid for 40. 
but then there are other <sighs> times where like like I could look at a code and I spend like maybe five hours at most and then like ten hours ten hours altogether just writing about it and I'll still get paid for forty. So it's, it's like you get paid based on how much you're able to accomplish, no matter what. Right. Right. Yeah. So right, it... right now I'm I'm tasked with like just start I, I need to write like I need to write a, a few pages for a paper um that we're working on. But uh Right. Uh, the thing is, it doesn't matter how long it takes me. Just as long as it gets done, then that's all that matters. And I got to have the whole paper done within a month. Yeah. Oh my dude. What? <laughs> well, it's not, because the thing is, is, you think, oh yeah, just write a paper for a whole month. Oh, that's not too bad. And then you realize, oh yeah, it's a fifteen-page paper, and you're just like, oh, okay, that's it's is understandable, but that's still not the worst it could be. Well, the thing is, is that we still need to go through data collection. We need to go through data analysis, and then try to resent the the results in a way that kind of kind of and then we have to look at the results and then try to explain the results to the audience and explain our findings why we yeah. decided to do it this way why we decided to use this particular method instead of that particular method what you know like what could future researchers do if they want to continue our work that kind of stuff yeah oh i see yeah i mean yeah, yeah it, it's, definitely it's really interesting not gonna lie yeah I mean, it's hella interesting, but like, man, the hours are like at least kind of like compared to like comparatively. I think we've talked about this before, like with regular retail workers or and anyone else that I guess doesn't do any type of research. We all have set schedules. Like, we may have to come in like randomly when like somebody doesn't want to come in, but like that's like once in a blue moon. Like, what you told me the other day was like when you had to get up at 10 p.m. and the next thing you went there. It's all like I'm like. My my okay. Uh, I have no idea. You know, I guess we're gonna wait until the next podcast session to see if I if that part of the story actually got in, or if it was like uh, a couple days ago when I told that story. Because if so, then yeah, I have to retell it. But I don't want to retell it if I've already told it. You know. Yeah, um, it's so, understandable. Uh, this is either a foreshadowing or just a recollection of events. I'm gonna have to re go through the whole pod the Dude, it's, two it's, it's, it's a, that we successfully <laughs> managed to record and see. It's a TLDR. <laughs> <laughs> it's a TLDR. Uh, okay, uh, my boss. Okay, so I. Okay, so TLDR. I made plans to leave my house at, stupidly early the next day, and my boss calls me the night before, asks me to uh, do like seven, like seven hours worth of research. Yeah. So oh I my god. Sleep and I still have to attend my event because I made prior plans. <laughs> See, like that's that's what I mean. Like it's just such a it's just a, such a like a random schedule. Like I like I know I can be pretty reliant. Like I consider myself a reliable person. Like if you need me to do something, like I'll, I'll do it for you. Like yeah. I'll put aside whatever I'm doing to kind of help you out. But yeah, to the extent I'm like so, uh, to be honest though, um, I guess kind of going back to the story of the guy who, of the guy who I drove to L.A. for at seven in the morning. Um, oh, oh, what about him? He did pay me for that trip he says i'll pay you for gas i'm like all right that's fine you know and uh i was actually going to calculate how much money he owes me worth of gas money and honestly it wasn't going to be that much i think uh, at most i was just going to charge him like 10 15 bucks and he just pays me 30 and i'm like well i don't know whether i should tell him or just kind of hold on to it and say the other 15 went to paying for his breakfast <laughs> Well, thinking about it this way, um, that no, guy... You're not, you're not getting the money back. I'm letting you know that right now. Oh, dude, I never sent you money, but this is for your friend. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, we, we, I've this, already, this, this, already declared that, you know, we already know who we're talking about. This, this is for your friend, so for your friend, like, yeah, I mean, he, he knew what he was doing when he was sending that $30, and he probably was never going to get that money back. I mean, $30 is $30. I mean, what is he going to do? Go go buy groceries when he does. He's not even home right now. He's not even in his actual apartment. Uh, he could Amazon him to his place. Tell his roommates, "Hey, guess what? Uh, I, I'm bringing you. I'm giving you guys a small care package. Should be there in a, in a few weeks. You know." Oh yeah, because you know every everybody, uh, and that's in San Jose that goes to SJSU and lives by campus. And is not from the area is living in the area right now, just because you know Santa Clara Valley is doing so well with their coronavirus cases. 
Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, uh, I actually ordered something on Amazon a couple days ago, and uh, it still hasn't processed properly. Damn, it's, it's the strikes that are happening. Oh, really? So, yeah, there are actually, um, there was actually some Amazon strikes that happened as of, um, as a recent, I didn't read too much into it, but you can see where this is definitely going with, um, with kind of like, cause Amazon already is already known for having, treating their employees unfairly. Oh yeah. I mean, we, oh my God. Um, hold on. You, uh, is it capturing? Oh, hold on. Is it capturing my thing or Bob? Okay. Uh, properties. Okay. All right. So uh, I guess we might as well pull this up. It, it, I know we say it's a podcast, but in reality, though, it's more like a. It's more like a, I don't know. Okay. So Amazon. Uh, job issues oh uh yeah there we go so uh okay so i remember reading this article i don't know if this is the same article or not but essentially uh a lot okay so a lot of these uh employees for amazon uh describe their uh working his phone okay so uh his uh, fulfillment center as an existential shithole and blah 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 it's mostly because of the fact that um uh, they, they just they just uh, expect their employees to do too much. They treat their employees like robots, and like they don't really uh, they don't really like ex they, they expect too much of their employees, and they don't really treat them fairly. Yeah, you know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's exactly what's going on because I think there was already a couple cases like um, of COVID nineteen in one of I, um, one of the warehouses. I think. Yeah, but I also remember reading an article a while back. I don't remember um, when this article came out. Um, I do remember, um, so, uh, hold on, okay, I do remember one particular, um, article where it said that, uh, like, they're, they'd gotten so bad to where, like, a, uh, employee was, um, was, like, like, criticized or, like, scolded for taking a break for, like, five minutes, like, I mean, within, like, a, like a couple minutes of him starting to work, like, uh, like the, Am like, the Amazon, whatever, like, manager, or whatever, came over and, like, tells him, you got to get back to work or you'll be fired. But, like, uh, there's another time where, I, I don't know if this is the same warehouse or not, it could be different, but if it is, I mean, I really hope it isn't the same, because if so, uh, it'd be really messed up. I guess in general it is messed up, but, uh, what happened was that a employee, a worker, actually ended up getting a heart attack and it took... <laughs> It, uh, Amazon, the managers didn't even notice, you know? So, like, we have this, like, extremes on both ends. Like, hey, if you start slacking off, we're going to catch you immediately. But if you're having a medical emergency, uh, you know, like, I don't know what you're talking about, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, that's the extremely messed part about, like, you messed up part about it because, like, Amazon, I think, is one of the, one of the more, I guess, profitable, um, I would have, would you, would you classify them as like a company or like a store? Uh, it's more of a company because it's more of a company because uh, they're not they don't really sell anything directly. It's it's like a it's third, it's third like party servers now. Yeah, uh, it's like uh, going to the swap meet. So you like you've been to swap meets before, you know? Uh, like, um, of course you have been. You're Mexican. You kind of have to. It's like law, but <laughs> um, I guess yeah. Yeah, so uh, imagine that, except uh, instead of having to go in there and like navigate through everything, imagine there's someone at the very front that says, hey, what do you want? Oh, that? Oh, yeah, we got that here. And they'll just go pick it up for you, and they'll ship it to your place within like like within three to five days, maybe two to three weeks, depending on how long right. it is and how much demand it is. Yeah. Yeah. But like, it's definitely like profitable because, you know, everybody uses it. Like, I like. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure using it. Like, I know exactly. Like, like Amazon has. I'm still using it. Exactly. Like I like I, the the mouse pad I have right now, the wireless mouse I have on me right now. Both of those are from Amazon. Uh, do, do you funny thing is that um yesterday uh the other day two days ago um when we were doing that little thing uh near the end of the podcast I actually decided to um decided to uh order a few things from Amazon. Yeah. Yeah, among those things, 
I got a giant mouse pad, kind of like a desk pad, really. Oh, you too. <laughs> uh, and I also, I'm all, I also ordered a uh, brand new uh, gaming mouse for myself. Oh, I see. And of course, you know, I also, and uh, in case you're wondering, I also got uh, some water purifier and uh, some throwing knives. Yeah. 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 No, definitely. I think. Um, I mean, it's, it's definitely useful, but like during during this time where I have, like, uh, I don't think, like. I don't know. I think I definitely would put Amazon maybe under a, an essential service. Uh, yeah, but oh. at the same time, though, like, the, like they're classified as essential service, but the thing is, is that they don't treat their workers as essential workers. Exactly. They don't. They they don't treat their workers, you know, you know, fairly as you know, as essential workers. Yeah. And I think that's where. Yeah, they're, that's they're where the line is drawn. Not getting essential. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like they just it's just all around, you know. I guess not. Like, it's bad at Amazon, you know. I mean, it's and they're you know all the workers are justified for you know going on that on that strike. Yeah, I mean, I don't really blame them at that point, you know. I mean, shit. Like, if like your your boss was like on like on your entire time, like, oh, you're, you're taking a little bit of time to breathe. You can't do that here. That's not how we do things here. Go back to work. And then I'd you know definitely be fed up with it, and of course. You know, uh, have a strike against it. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I guess kind of draw away from from negativity. Being that there's there's a lot of negativity going on us right now. Yeah. Are is your desk is your desk pad at least does it at least have LED lights? Uh, no, I decided to go cheap, but um, well, not necessarily cheap, but just uh, ascent more essential. But the wireless mount, the wired mouse I did is multicolored. Hey, hey, that's what that's what. Yeah, yeah because I ordered laptop, because like my laptop has has colors and whatnot. I mean, I can turn on the keyboard backlight. That's really cool. Yeah, get a mouse that kind of matches it. Right. Oh, that's that's hella cool. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, that's so kind of what I did. Use my wireless mouse for school. Oh, I see. That's it's good. Because it's a small, compact, and stuff like that. And um, you know, like since I'm at home, I could just plug in my real mouse and be able to use that no problem. Yeah. Uh, that's definitely good. Yeah, I kind of did the same thing as of uh, recently. Of course, I got um, I got a, I accidentally ordered um, a desk desk uh, what do you call it? a desk mouse pad or desk uh, desk pad yeah, on to, accident. Do you want to see what I actually ordered? Yes. Okay. Let's okay. see it. Ed. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Amazon Go product, KKK. You see, when I ordered this, I didn't realize that I could have changed the color to pretty much anything, so I'm kind of stuck with pink. What color did you get? I'm stuck with pink for the time being. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is actually kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. This is definitely kind of cool, or not? I know this is really cool. Yeah, you know, but the thing is, it says in stock, and I'm still waiting for them to process my order. <laughs> Did you get a black one? Uh, no, I got the pink one. But are you gonna order a black one, or are you gonna try nah, to return I'm just, it? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep the pink one, man. Because like, why not? Pink is for men, dude. Did you not yeah, see the shirt? Tough guys wear pink. The tough guys wear pink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of course, man. I, of course, I remember. Yeah, dude, you, you're not a real you're not a real man if you don't remember, dude. Of course, dude, I have to remember, man. I was bullied because of exactly. My shirt. I do remember. <laughs> you're a bully throughout high school because you didn't have a pink shirt. No, that dude. I started seeing that show back when I was in elementary, man. Oh, then that that's when you when you realize that you're doing something wrong. No, that's when I. That's when everyone else failed to realize that. Hey, I'm not rich. Oh. I can't afford to buy, you know, like a stupid twenty dollars shirt. You know. Right. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about talking about that uh, that printed shirt with just the text on it. The what? You know that one printed shirt? Hold on, give me a sec. See if I can find it. The obey shirt or whatever. 
Not the. It's not not the beige one. Not not oh, like the. Oh, don't even bring up Obey. Oh my, that that's literally the worst brand on planet Earth. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah. Like, oh my god. I, I could go on and on for reasons why I was bullied back in school just because I didn't fit into the norms. Uh, oh man, yeah. Let, let me ask you this: Were you bullied a lot back in your school days? Hell yes, dude. Yeah, hell yeah. It was back in um, back in uh, middle school, sixth grade year. I, I attended uh, this different middle school, and man, were those kids like me? Because like you know that idea of like swag and YOLO, like that thing that was back like big yeah. in like 2012. Yeah, yeah. Um, the one thing I had I no idea of... care less about. Yeah, I remember exactly. Um, I just had no idea what those things were. So like. So therefore you just did you so because of the fact you didn't know what the word you just didn't care yeah people just like pretty much harass me and just be like he's like oh this guy doesn't know what this thing is like the word the word pussy when you hear the word pussy what do you think uh someone who I mean, <laughs> honestly i think so okay like right now or like innocent younger soul like it's just general good in the world me um like I guess, maybe a little bit more on the innocent side. And the more innocent side, then um, it would be uh, it'd be like you know someone who um, someone who like wimps out of a lot of things. You know that that that's what pussy would have been for me. Yeah. Um. So I actually didn't know what the like the meaning was like for uh, for the word pussy. So one time I was in the locker room and people were talking about oh, I want some pussy. I want to get some pussy. Like, oh. I'm like, what's well, pussy? And he's like, and then I start laughing. He's like, this guy doesn't know what pussy is. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Like, how are you guys like 12, 11 years old, but you guys Dude, know uh, do what? You, do you remember there's this old video called uh, Two Girls, One Cup? Like, I, I swear to God, oh, in the... elementary school talking about that. Dude, they're, they're, they're serial killers now, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, that, that's do you want video. My, do you want to know what my current definition is? Or my current understanding of pussy nowadays is. Yes, I would love to hear that. Yeah, actually, uh, pussy, uh, the only thing that's worth a company waffles. Yes, and you know what the combination of the two represents? The meaning of life. That is correct. So yeah, um, me and Ed actually have like a really long. I, I, how do we even come up with it? How do we even come up with that okay, meaning so of life? I came up with it because okay, so uh, this was around the time that my brother was, uh, my brother and I were sharing a room because uh, he needed to move back for a number of reasons. But uh, we were sharing a room, and uh, he was watching a few like comedy shows on Netflix or whatever. And one of them was this guy named Marin, and he had his own TV series. I don't know whether it's still going or not, or how successful it was, but there's this one episode. Uh, where um, he was going through like a life or death kind of situation, not necessarily in the case, but like so he thought he uh, had a uh, cancer, and the reason why is because um, he had a mouth sore and he was eating black licorice, and so when he looked at his mouth, it looked like deformed, disgusting, and uh, he was just going through this like, oh my god, what have I done with my with my life? Like, what have I contributed? Kind of thing, and um, he was staying at a hotel, and uh, this hotel had a uh, free breakfast. While at this hotel, there's this guy. He was so obsessed with waffles, you know. He, um, you know, he just says, "Yeah, like waffles, like they're only th like honestly that that's the only thing that keeps me going every day." And uh, you know, like I think waffles would be a uh, uh, honestly like if there was a meeting of life, the meaning of life would be waffles. And Marin looks at him and says, "Yeah, waffles and pussy, right?" <laughs> and uh, you know, the guy just kind of didn't respond, and Marin just kind of like looks down and continues eating awkwardly. And uh, I was like, you know what? I think Josh will enjoy this. So fast forward a couple weeks, uh, we started air we were airsofting, and uh, <laughs> well, I, I Josh, I think I think it'd be best that you tell the story from that point on because you were actually there. You know what? I actually I would tell it if I rem wait. I actually don't remember the how was introduced. I just remember okay. So there's one we day were, we, we were, were talking running, about it. We were running. Uh, we were running and uh, we both got hit. Uh, so what? So uh, when we got hit, we had to uh, go back and, um, you know, go back to our respawn. And we this was, like, really early on in the game, so we were trying to talk about, um, oh, okay. Um, 
hey, I said, hey, Josh, I guess we can now use this time to think about a meaning of life. And he just, oh, okay, well, waffles and pussy. And you just. What? I remember that. <laughs> yes. Well, like, I did, like, I completely forgot about that conversation. Oh. That was actually really, that was memorable. Because I don't even know at this point, like, if we, if we kind of say it. Uh, ironically or unironically, but every time like we kind of see each other and it was like, hey, do you know what the meaning is? Exactly, it was just waffles and pussy. You know, like that, yeah. that's that became our meaning of life. Yeah, what was the meaning of life? Simple, waffles and pussy. You know, exactly. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> yeah, like it, it, you didn't need a, it didn't need any deeper explanation. It, it was just that. I mean. That 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 is our deeper explanation of what what our media life well, is. Well, it's more it's more ex as to like why that was that why it kind of just evolved. Oh, the backstory behind it. I mean, yeah, that, that, that was the backstory. I, I'm pretty sure I told you this, but you know, it's been a while. Yeah, no, it's definitely been a while uh, since um since you told me that, like the story. I guess the kind of story of how we got to like I even forgot like where like this and Kevin Jones because I just remember like him telling me that I was like it's like oh. Let's sit here and think about them in your life. I thought he was being serious. I'm like, okay, like. I found the video. I'm... Oh shit! I found the exact video. God, oh, it was this one. How can I forget? It was what? my own. It was an own video. All right. But yeah, I mean, it just kind of stuck with me. I mean, what you think like, like well, right. see, it was back in 2015. It was already fine. This is like a joke we've been having, been going on for like five years. Yeah. Um. You know, honestly, I kept waiting for it to die down, but you never let it die down to a point where, like, it just became an inside joke. I don't think anyone else understands why that is so funny to us. It's just that, hey, <laughs> um, we, uh, I, I saw this from, I, this is a reference from, like, a, a TV show or whatever. That's how my brother watching this one time, and uh, it just kind of stuck. Right. I mean, it's just like it's our own little thing. I think, I think that you know, it's kind of cool. Yeah. To have that. Yeah, no one else will understand it. Like, I, I don't think like anyone else. Oh, there, there's a very small population of people who actually watch that show. So, like, this reference is so obscure to a point where, like, I think it can't be considered an inside joke. Like, even, it's just exactly. an joke between <laughs> us two. Like, no one else in our personal like circle of friends know about this really. Exactly, like, and any, then like we talk about it, everyone else just kind of looks at us weird, and it's like, hey, you won't get it. You have to be there. Yeah, then like that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I, I like it. Though. Like it's it's our own little thing, you know. Yeah, I mean, definitely. By the way, Ed, um, moving on to a different topic. Um, okay. Have you seen the Sonic movie? No, dude. Actually, for a video game movie, it was actually pretty good. Yeah, so so I've heard, but uh, I was never really a huge fan of Sonic or pretty much any Nintendo games. So it was like, I mean, like I <laughs> like I understand why people like it, but for me though, it's just like it's not necessarily like on the top of my priority list right now. Did you just call Sonic Nintendo. It Sonic it Sonic was from Nintendo, or well, originally it was from Sega, and then it got bought out by Nintendo. But oh, yeah, like, I never, really, I never was really a fan with like Nintendo, like as a company and whatnot. Not just because like I'm not saying they're a bad company. I'm just saying that I never really had their products growing up, so like I don't really, I don't really like right. with the crowd following it, you know. Right, that's understandable. I understand. Yeah. So but, like when the, when people say, "Oh, the new Sonic movie's coming out," it was like, okay, like am I supposed yeah. to like? And people were like, "Why are you not excited for this?" I look at them, I'm like, "I'm supposed to get excited for this?" Like, I, I'm, <laughs> you know. Right, I mean, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely. I guess for you, it's a little bit understandable, just because it's like it's not content you grew up with. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I mean, like I said, like I understand why people get so psyched about it. Like, um, like I, I got, I got my own personal things that I get really excited for, but everyone else will look at me like I'm weird. So it's right. kind of like a hit or miss. Except, uh, what do you? Okay, let me ask you this: What do you? What's your opinion on people who bandwagon? bandwagon like, yeah, like anything oh, like, yeah like any just in general because like i don't know about you but like i absolutely like, despise those people like it's one thing to like like a certain thing just because you genuinely like it. it's another thing to like it because like oh everyone else is onto it you know yeah i, I kind of hold the same opinion because people like people like that like who kind of like just bandwagon on like like you know stupid trends like say let's like let's take 
I don't know. Probably like sports, for example, like when people follow the, like the most like the most dominant team, the team that has the most success, say, oh yeah, like I've been following this team for years, like, like bullshit, dude. Like it gives me insight to the character because like I'm particularly not fond of people who are fake or just kind of like, they say one thing, but like they do something completely, completely different. It's yeah, yeah. For me though, that's kind of like a that's kind of like a social turn off, you know, like. Like, uh, like for instance, um, whenever I was going through like my quote unquote soccer face, I still wouldn't necessarily say like I'm a huge fan of it, just because like I, I mean, there have been times where like I would follow soccer, but I wouldn't necessarily be like that close to it. Like I enjoy watching the games, but that's mostly because of the fact that my brothers enjoyed it. I never, yeah. I like even when I was like a quote unquote like huge fan, I wasn't really a fan. Like I didn't enjoy it because like I wouldn't necessarily turn on the TVs like, hey, you know, I wonder what time, I wonder when uh, this match is gonna happen. You know, it's more like, hey, um, you know, I wonder, wonder if uh, Cartoon Network is playing my favorite show right now. You know, yeah. And, and for context, this happened when I was like maybe thirteen or something like that. You know, I was, I was, yeah. I was been on the younger side. Oh, I see. Yeah, and now, sure. it's like, and now it's like, oh yeah, there's a match going on right now. Well, I me, mean, I got my laptop and I got YouTube. So what else do I really need it for? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I guess in terms of like bandwagoning, like, not only does it kind of reveal a little bit about the character, it just kind of shows like, hey, like, hey, I generally don't have any of my own interest. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna ride off other people's interests. And just yeah. you know, kind, of, kind of meet and socialize people like that. Dude, um, remember Jordan back from high school? Jordan, uh, big Jordan. tall guy. Um, Jordan. He, he's he's the one uh, who's he's the one who. Uh, I oh yeah, 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 yeah. You and he gave it to you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jordan. Remember when he did that a Beyblade thing? Yes. Yeah, dude, like I remember that, but that that year I would go to his club and I would actually participate with that. Yeah. You know, just because like I thought it was interesting and I could describe the physics behind it. Um. And uh, I actually made this one particular top that was just stupidly difficult to defeat, just because it, yeah. it it just kept its momentum very very well. Like it shouldn't have, but it did. And of course, yeah. like, you know, like if you know what you're doing, you could easily beat it. But a lot of new players, they just like put something together and they think that would work. And hey, guess what? My uh, <laughs> stupid retarded top will outclass you all every single time. Oh my! <laughs> uh, so. Uh, so uh, remember that. So there was a demonstration during lunchtime, and uh, he's in the middle of the quad. And I told him, "Hey, dude, pull my top in, and just see if anyone could actually beat it." And he starts laughing because he knows for a fact that a lot of these people don't know what they're doing. So if they do beat it, it's by luck, not because they know what they're doing. And yeah. I said, that, honestly, there's only two real. There's really only two heads that could beat my. That could beat it. It's either something that, you know, either something that purposely like either ha- it's uh, something that has a uh, rubber head that will kind of like that will kind of like convert that kinetic that centripetal energy or whatever it's called into its own and just kind of like spin steel as it's called or or it's some or it's like a heavier it's a heavier metal one that's purposely designed to knock things out and uh, you know mine just like hey i just said just take those two out and see the carnage (laughs) <laughs> it works dude i can oh my god I can't. if you ask me today he remembers that monstrosity i called it the red devil and also john we can't hear you try saying something oh okay well oh hold on. <laughs> oh there you go greetings oh okay there you are greetings human being yeah uh congratulations he's decided to join us at the last 15 minutes or so. Ah, 16. 16? Oh, dang. Okay. He got you there, Ed. I said 15 minutes or so. He, he got you. You're wrong. <laughs> you will forever be wrong. Josh, say a number between 1 or 2. If it's Okay, so I'm thinking of a number. Say even or odd. If you get if you get it right, you get to stay in the chat. If you get it wrong, I'm disconnecting you. Uh, It's both. Son of a bitch. <laughs> want to play a small game what yeah okay so we're gonna rotate each person whose turn it is you have to say a name um one person does one letter and then the next person does an x it's gonna go through the alphabet you guys want to go we have to say a name. So, oh so like yeah. 
Okay, so like for instance, you would say A, and then like you would start with A, so you say Anthony. Uh, and then Anthony. the next person says a, a name that starts with B, but we have to the, the all the names have to have a theme. Okay. Okay. Oh, I know, I know what you're going. Yeah, I know what you're going. Okay, uh, I'll try my best because I don't know a whole bunch of themes, but okay. Uh, <laughs> let's let's start let's start simple. Let's go with guy names. Okay. Okay, uh, I'll go first. A, um, Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Uh, B, Benjamin. Josh. Mm, C, uh, damn, I actually forgot how, the, how this game works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, John, John, you already left, why? John, we can't hear you. <laughs> okay, so uh, John says An uh, Anderson. I said Benjamin. You have to say a name that starts with a C, but it has to be a guy's name. Oh, uh, okay. So, um, so like Cody. Okay, so John, we still can't hear you. Just type in the chat what your. Uh... Oh my God. <laughs> John, just type in the chat what your uh, name is going to be because we can't. Hear oh, okay, there we are. There we are. Hello? Okay, there you yes. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so Josh says Cody. Uh, D, you? What, what do you want? Dick. Okay. Uh, Ed. Oh, okay. That's good. Uh, Ferb. What? Josh? Ferb. Ferb, as in Phineas and oh, Ferb. Okay. okay. Gary. Hector. Uh, Hector. I, I said Hector. H. <laughs> oh, I. Oh, H. I. Oh. Okay. Wait, what'd you, what'd you say? Ivan. Ivan. J. I can't think of one. James. That's not a name. Yes, it is. Oh. You, you do. You met somebody named James, and I met anyone. <laughs> anyone. <laughs> I, I will find. I will find you a well-known James right here, right now. Dude, go ahead. <laughs> uh, don't, 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 don't believe him, dude. He's lying. <laughs> He's lying to you. He knows James. He knows a James. Oh my God. <laughs> Was it James. James? Was Ames. There's no J in the alphabet, dude. Come on. Oh, John, John, you wait. Play this game. You just acknowledged the letter J, though. Yeah. Yeah. Which Ed. means that is it is in the alphabet. <laughs> so you're saying, Ed, if I say speep, that's suddenly a part of the alphabet. What no. if I said was? You would deny We're talking it. about the American English alphabet. American, yeah. Well established, unless like you reverse the rules or something, you rewrote them like as yeah, John, of like John, right John, now. John, John, I'm I'm giving you this once. You just say James, and we can continue this game that you proposed. Dude, dude, the joke is that my name is Jonathan. Yeah. Okay. Well, I said my name, and like you just kind of like oh, okay, and then you, we went on from that. <laughs> nah. Okay. That was that was a bad joke. Anyways. Okay. No. Uh, uh, so J. Uh, 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 Cody with a K. Cody with a K. Um, all right, A B C U G. Um, it's my username. It's my username. Lionel. <laughs> I thought it was gonna say <laughs> Letty Face. <laughs> yes, Letty Face. Is, this is, is a male name in America. I'm gonna name my child Letty Face. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Lenny face. <laughs> That's gonna be <laughs> Lenny face Sedona. <laughs> Lenny, Lenny is his first name. Face is his middle name, and Sedona is his last name. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> face is his middle name. Lenny face. <laughs> 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 Put the imagine putting that on their birth certificate. Oh, <laughs> bloody face! 
<laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Wait, I, I don't mean to break away from the game, but John, what's what's your weird obsession with Lenny faces? <laughs> like, why why do you love Lenny faces? Uh, I don't know. I think the first time I saw a text, a uh, uh, an emoticon that was untypable, but also not able to find it on like your actual emoji keyboard, I was so astounded. But it was just like the most perverted face ever, and I just use it for. You know. <laughs> You guys won't be able to see what I did. All right. Okay. So. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. All right. So. Uh... Okay. Sorry. Sorry. So, uh... Okay. So Josh says Lionel. Uh, John, your turn. John, it's your turn. <laughs> um, I forgot what we were on. L. John, Josh said L, which is Lionel. What's your M. Um. Uh. Mario. Nathan. Uh. Good luck, Josh. Good luck trying uh, to come up with a name that starts with O. Oswald. Okay. Yeah. Good one. Um. Uh. Peter. It's pizza time. Yeah. Uh. I got a couple of the name that starts with Q. Who? Who start? Who name? Oh my God. Uh, I know one. Quincy. Oh, there we go. Josh. Uh, so let me see. Robert. Uh, Steven. Tristan. Uh, let me see. Oh my god. I heard myself. Uh, let me see. Oh, man. Uh, damn. Why did the tough one have to land on me? Oh, Ulysses. Ulysses, okay. Vincent. William. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> There's only really one name that can be given with X. Yeah. Um. Damn. Oh, Xander. <laughs> Okay, Wait. two words, then <laughs> two names. I've never heard of that name. Yeah, now Same. I die. Okay, Jonathan. Damn. Z. No, it's Y now. Oh, yeah. it's Y. Oh, uh, uh, Ying. All right. All right. What was, your, what was your name, John? What? What was your name? I don't. It's on. It's Jonathan. No, no, no. You gotta, you gotta come up with something, man. You can't just say Jonathan and think of that. They'll pass. You know, like we all do. It's <laughs> like, you know, like actual some thought, and you're, you're it's like Jonathan. No, 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 no. You can't do that. <laughs> Jonathan. You graduated with someone named Jonathan. John, you're on the oh. rise. Yes, I am. But I'm not wrong. Zeke. Zeke. <laughs> Oh damn! I thought you. I thought I got you there. No, you that's, <laughs> that's where people die. But somehow Ed is immortal. Ed uh, is immortal. Uh, shall we do this again? Except uh, Josh, you start. I go second. John, you go third for uh, female names. You want to do for female, female names? Yeah, yeah. do. Yes, let's do it. We got to think of another theme. You want to do girls, or do you want to do something? I just said female names, man. Don't don't you dare try to steal my idea. Same like. Hey, let's do some. Let's do something a little bit more specific. Okay. Like, like game or some shit, or I don't know. Or, I don't know <laughs> sex sex position names. <laughs> uh, <laughs> dude, I would not. Dude, one hundred percent. Look up Urban Dictionary right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to think. Um, what should? Wait, are we actually doing what we call sex positions? I'm down if you guys are. Jesus Christ, sorry, fine. We gotta make this quick, though. We got, we got like five minutes, man. Yes. Uh, so something that starts with A. Uh, so it has to be sex related, right? Yeah, yeah. Has, oh, just. Oh, like, sex related. Okay, easy. Ass. 
I, I, you could have said anal, but you know, okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, blowjob. Um. So. Cleveland steamer. Uh, all right. Um, doggy style. Okay, there's three. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Entering peacefully? No. <laughs> I, I really hope I, I land on the letter S. Oh, I would think. I don't know. Enter peacefully, Ed. Okay, Come on. Hold on, I'm trying to... Uh, dude, like, I am trying to figure <laughs> something out. Um... Uh, you, you got you got five minutes, Ed. Yeah, I know. You got five minutes. Dude, do you have any clue how difficult that one? Can't find it. Wait, what was your letter again? It's E. E? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm... I think there's actually. If you can find it, then I, I will. I'll remove myself from this competition. I'm sure. and name you. Name whoever the winner. Um, eggs. Nice. Hey. As in, as in gamete cells. I hate you so much. <laughs> Let me see. I hate you. <laughs> it counts. Yeah. Um, no. The egg scrambler. How's that? Oh man! That, oh I mean, yeah, that, that counts. <laughs> okay, that counts. All right, F for John. I, it's my turn. Yeah. Uh, shit! I didn't think I get this far. <laughs> you thought you could oh. stop me? I was, but uh, you know, it's not your turn. Okay, let's go like this. Whoever ends up on the end of the podcast loses. Okay. Oh, 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 all right. All right. What if I just wait here for like like two minutes and fifty nine seconds? <laughs> John, John, it's your turn. Uh, shit. I'm trying not to look shit up. All right, guys. That's the end of this Good podcast. Job. I hope you guys, you, you, you guys all have a great night. You guys Good take job. care. Did you hear me? No, that, that was the end. What? Wait. I said, I said foot job. <laughs> what? Foot job. Oh wait, that's true. Yes, I've got one for you, Josh. I'm gonna give you a free pass, but you have to give me a point. <laughs> you have to give me half your point. <laughs> <laughs> I have to give you half my points. <laughs> All right. How, how about I give you less than half, like a quarter? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll go for point three five. <laughs> what if I just give you zero, dude? It count. <laughs> you want a donation? You want? Just just continue, man. I want to see where this ends up. All right, all right, all right. It's your turn. Oh, is it mine? Yeah, it's your turn. Oh, okay. So the last letter was R, uh, right? Okay. Gagging. So last letter oh, yeah. was F. So your letter's G. Gagging. Okay. I was gonna say genital mutilation, but that works too. Uh, the helicopter. What the fuck? <laughs> genital mutilation. On your mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, is this something you're not telling us, Jonathan? <laughs> Please know John is into cock and ball torture. <laughs> <clears throat> CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy. Okay, so, uh, okay, so, okay, so, wait, what are we on? I, okay, so now it's my turn. H, I said helicopter. <laughs> Shit, is it my turn? Yes, it's your turn. Interracial. <laughs> the best. Uh, well, what was, uh... J. Is it me now? What letter? J. Your letter J. J. How much oh. time have you left, Ed? Oh, I've already Joy. done the podcast. I just wanted you to lose. Joy? No, I'm just kidding. We got 30 seconds left. Oh... Uh. Uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Uh. Uh. 
juicy pussy. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Okay. Um, kill dough. <laughs> what? What? What is that? Oh, it's a, it's a spike dildo. <laughs> yeah, I guess I lose then. Yeah, you lost. <laughs> huh? You lost. Loser. What the hell is that? I need to look that up. Is that real? Uh, uh, dude, if, it's, if you can imagine it, I can guarantee you it's real. Wait, I'm gonna look it up. If you're if you're lying, wait. Wait a minute. Holy shit, it's real! <laughs> what? It's real! <laughs> no, Ed, how do you know what that is? It means. <laughs> Ed, I don't... Ed, something you're not telling us? <laughs> oh no, this this is. This, I was just browsing iFunny one day, and next thing you know, up, I'm like, yeah, I, this, this might be useful one day. <laughs> <laughs> it might be useful one day. <laughs> Look what happened. You you uh you you won a game amongst friends. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, do you guys want to finish this game and then head out? Yeah, might as well. I mean, we're, I'm still recording, so you know. Uh, okay. Yeah, might as well. Okay, lemonade. <laughs> oh. Uh, first of all. Uh, okay. So, oh, I get. It. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So. Oh, you left off on uh, we'll call JKLM. LM. Hold on. Oh, yeah, for a moment. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, wait. Marinol. Milk. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, that works. <laughs> um, nipple clamps. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have to swallow the mic while saying that? <laughs> Nipple clamps. <laughs> because it's funny. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> oral, obviously. Right. Okay, it's, it's your turn, John. Or did you say something already? Yeah, oral, obviously. So, oh, okay. Well, that was pretty easy. Uh, P. Um, got this, you got P. this. You got this, you got this, you got this. Ping. Huh? Ping. What's that? Ping. Oh! Urination, essentially. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so an R. And I'm going to try to take the high road on this one. Isn't it Q? What about Q? Oh, yeah, Q. Q. Oh, wait. Hey, you actually have a pretty difficult... Yeah, hold on. Bro, I don't even think about this one. Um... Queef. <laughs> 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 I mean, it counts. Yeah, it does. I mean, like, I can guarantee you there's something out there with it. Let me think. R. Take the high road on this, John. R. I don't want to say ramming. That's too easy. Oh, well, I mean, that works. No, no, that's too I easy. Four I was thinking about the four letter one, but you know, that works too. Oh, that's fucked. Okay, that's I can't I use it. Take the high road, man. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I didn't know what he was talking. About. Yeah, no, like, no, I was like, I, I, I was like, dude, I'm sorry. If you say that, I'm not, I'm not posting right. this. Uh, my little brother just walked in. I gotta. Hey, wait, wait. All right, friend. Hi. Podcast, what? Man. We're on the letter S, right? Oh wait. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Josh, no, not right now. Not right now. We got, we got civilians down there. Oh, not anymore. John just just like logged out completely. Okay, so. Oh no, hold on. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, I guess you can say it now. Sixty-nine. Titty fuck. Oh. Oh no! no, no, no. I'm trying to. Say. Well, what comes after T? What was it? You. Urination. Vaginal. What comes after V. W. W. Uh... <laughs> 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 I can't focus. I got it perfect uh, online. Wait, duds. 
Shit, I'm trying to think. Uh, uh, www, www, www. Oh, wait. I got it. www.pornhub.com. Okay. Uh, X ray. What? Hell. You're not even going to give me an explanation. Okay. So after, so is it after X comes what letter? Forgot. Josh, look at the chat. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't even make any sense. Like, if you told me X, text, you get Yeah, no. <laughs> oh. I guess I'll have to live with this count. Yeah, you have to let it count, man. I like I'm not wrong. <laughs> it's also something I've seen in my in my memes travels. Oh my! God. <laughs> oh my god, dude! This is no context. <laughs> when you when you ask a radiologist for nudes. <laughs> For some nudes, and you give him this. <laughs> gonna Jeez, all right. My uh, browser history, okay. Um. No, keeping it forever. In fact, I'm sending you to that right now. Eh. It's 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 okay if you're into skeleton then. The skeletal system is very beautiful. <laughs> oh. oh my god! I just realized. Um... I can't come up with anything for Z. Oh, I know it. Yolking. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, Ed. The letter Z. Actually, can I come up with anything for Z? Yeah, can you come up with one? Uh, um... No, I actually can. Okay. Well, there we go. Okay. Uh, we finished this. We finished this thing. Um, I don't think I'll ever be able to forget this. And uh, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to find a way to uh, either uh, remove the video or blur out some areas. Well, I mean, yeah. All right. Well, that's this, true. Guys, this is the end of the video. Bye. Goodbye.